we are here again thank you for joining me in this video i will be talking about 19 to do right if you want to have the right marriage you don't just think your way to, to get right marriage you don't just wish your way to a right to the best marriage so some people will always say, oh i want them i want to marry the right man i want to marry the right woman so that i can have very good marriage now let me show you 19 you must do number one you must choose right a great marriage starts from your choice making if you choose riff raff you will end in rough riff marriage so that is why you need to choose right you must not marry by election you must not marry by selection you must not marry by manipulation don't get married by infatuation don't choose foolishly. I wrote two books about this issue some, some times ago. I call it, I call them smart ways to choose a life partner, foolish ways to choose a life partner. I think you will do well to get these two books and transform your life. Number two is prepare right. With the right preparation, it takes the right preparation to have great marriage. You don't just jump into marriage and think you are going to get it right without preparing for it. Remember, without preparation, you will have many, many things to repair in your marriage. And I want you to know that choosing right is needed. Choosing right is great, uh, is good, but preparing right is great. Even if you choose right and you didn't prepare, you didn't know what you're supposed to do, you are still going to make mess of that marriage. Number three, love right. Love right. Love your wife, love your husband, love spending time together, love talking to your wife, love talking to your husband, love playing together, love spending time together, love doing things together. That's why we that's why we call it love right. Number four, think right. Think right. Your thought must be positive. Your thought must be deep. Your talk must be positive, your talk must be deep, your talk must be constructive, your talk must face the right way. So think right. Don't think you mismarry, don't think your wife is not okay, your husband is not okay, or somebody else's husband is okay. Number, number five, live right. Live right. Living right is great. You need to live right. Your lifestyle must fit the one that will bring peace and joy. Live right, live right, live right. Live in such a way that you'll be able to connect the person you married. Number six, talk right. Talking is one of the greatest things that will affect your marriage. If you don't talk positively, you will be having negative marriage and it will not be the devil that causes it. Many people can talk rashly, they call, they speak stupid things, they speak, they, they talk in such a way to a heart to make somebody sad and, uh, and depressed. This is not okay. Your word must be deep, your word must be effective, your communication must be effective, your communication must be deep, it must be effective, your communication must focus the path of righteousness. Your communication must be the one that will build up, not the one that will destroy. So talk right. Number seven, act right. Act right. Your attitude must be the one that attracts, not the one that destroys. Act right. Number eight, fight right. Fight right. How do you fight in marriage? Fight fear. Don't fight dirty. There will be misunderstanding in every marriage. This is normal. It is not new. It is natural. You are humans. You will have conflict. You will misunderstand each other. But fighting fear simply means you sit down to talk about it. Fighting right simply means you sit down at the round, round table to resolve your cases. Oh, you don't abuse each other. You don't accuse each other. You don't curse each other. You don't hurt each other. You don't talk conflict to crisis. This will be very horrible for you. But you talk conflict to conflict by coming to the point of agreement, the point of love, the point of intimacy. Stop shouting, I'm done, I'm leaving this marriage. No, you don't issue threats in marriage. You don't issue threats. Let's talk about the issue, let's talk about the problem. Let's see the way to resolve it like adults. 
to only fight right. Number nine, date right. Date right. Oh, I usually tell people that courtship should not end as the, on the author of Yes, I do. Courtship should start immediately after, after the honeymoon and last for a lifetime. So always take each other out, date your wife, date your husband, plan, plan for it, talk about it, invest in your marriage, invest money, launch, uh, launch into a deep ocean of great marriage through the power of talking right, through the power of dating right, through the power of right thinking, right talking, living right, stand together. Make sure that your marriage is your, always remember that your marriage is your investment. Always defend and protect your investment. Do it right, date right, and you enjoy great romance, great sex in your marriage that will transform everything you are doing. Marriage does not work out naturally. You have to work it out. Thank you for joining me in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our marriage clinic uh, where we are going to have some sessions with you and your spouse to groom you, to turn your marriage around, to help you, to support you, to defend you, to teach you what to do, to, to change the pattern in your marriage. Negative pattern will help you to turn it around to a positive one and you are going to have a positive marriage. Go to bcadewale.com slash Marie Clinic immediately to be part of this. Thank you for joining me. You are welcome.